Welcome to Dr. Linda TV, Best of Health. Today, Dr. Linda talks about sun safety. Ah, the warm weather months. Taking a walk on the beach, sitting by the pool, or catching a baseball game. These kinds of activities are super fun, but can expose you to harmful ultraviolet light and put you at risk for skin damage that can result in premature aging and skin cancers. Hi, I'm pharmacist Dr. Linda Bernstein. Here's a timely question from one of our viewers. Dear Dr. Linda, I love sitting by the pool. How can I protect myself against the harmful rays of the sun? Signed, SW, Sun Worshipper. SW, thanks for writing. That's a great question and the subject of today's program. August is Summer Sun Safety Month. The American Cancer Society and American Academy of Dermatology have some great tips on how to help reduce exposure to UV light for yourself and your children. Sun Facts and Effects. Let's first learn a little more about why sun exposure is so harmful. The negative effects of UV exposure accumulate over time. Your body can repair some of the DNA damage in skin cells, but not all of it. Eventually, this damage can trigger cell changes called mutations that cause skin cells to multiply rapidly. That can lead to potentially deadly tumors. Skin cancers. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, it is estimated that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. About 9,500 people in the U.S. are diagnosed with skin cancer every day. Skin cancer can affect anyone, regardless of skin color. Nearly 20 Americans die from melanoma daily. Cancer of the skin is by far the most common of all cancers. Melanoma accounts for only 1% of skin cancers, but causes a large majority of skin cancer deaths. The American Cancer Society's estimates for melanoma in the United States for 2021 are that over 100,000 new melanomas will be diagnosed, resulting in over 7,000 deaths. About 5.4 million basal and squamous cell skin cancers are diagnosed each year in the United States, occurring in about 3.3 million Americans, as some people have more than one. The majority of these are basal cell skin cancers. Death from basal and squamous cell skin cancers are in common. It's thought that about 2,000 people in the United States die each year from these cancers. How to protect your skin. One key preventative action you can take is to keep out of the sun to limit your exposure. That means stay in the shade when possible. Try to avoid direct sunlight between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. when UV light is at its peak. Avoid tanning beds and sun lamps as they can cause long-term skin damage and increase your risk of skin cancer. Proper clothing can also be protective. Lightweight, long sleeve shirts, long pants, or long skirts that cover most of your skin will help protect you. Some clothing is available with ultraviolet protection factor or UPF. Wear a wide hat with a two or three inch brim all around to help protect your eyes, forehead, nose, scalp, and ears. Similarly, large framed and wrap around sunglasses that block both UVA and UVB rays are your best eye protection. Children should also wear similar protective sunglasses, not just toy sunglasses. Sunscreen Strategy Another step you can take to reduce sun exposure is to use sunscreen. Be aware that these products function as a filter and do not block all UV rays. Sunscreens need to meet certain standards and must be used correctly to maximize their effectiveness. When selecting a sunscreen, make sure it provides broad spectrum protection against both UVA and UVB rays and is water resistant. The sun protection factor, or SPF, should be 30 or higher. Make sure the product is not expired, as they usually last about two to three years. And don't forget about your lips. Use a sunscreen lip balm with SPF of at least 15. Apply sunscreen every time you're outside, even on cloudy days, 15 minutes before going outdoors. The problem with sunscreens is that they can wash off when you sweat or swim or can be wiped off with a towel. So reapply sunscreen at least every two hours or as directed on the label, or more often if needed, even if it is water resistant. 
it is recommended to use at least an ounce of sunscreen in an amount that fills the palm of your hand to cover all exposed parts of your body, including arms, legs, tops of your feet, neck, ears, face, and scalp. Children need special attention to keep them protected from the sun as they spend more time outdoors and burn more easily. Babies less than six months old should be kept out of direct sunlight. Children and babies should wear hats and protective clothing. Limit sunscreen use to small areas of exposed skin. Photosensitivity reactions. Be aware that certain medicines may put you at risk for photosensitivity, an abnormal and sometimes severe skin reaction to natural sunlight and some types of artificial light, such as a tanning booth. Ask your pharmacist to know whether any medicines you take might place you at risk for this kind of reaction. So, although having a suntan might give the appearance of good health, it may in fact represent just the opposite. Sun exposure puts you and your family at greater risk for premature aging and skin cancer. Do your skin a favor by taking the necessary precautions to protect it. Thank you all for allowing me to help guide you through the complexities of these topics so you can achieve the best of health. If you want to learn more, I'd love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment or visit drlinda.tv to send a question. Until next time, I'm pharmacist Dr. Linda Bernstein.